Well, uh, so the first time I got hit, I caught underneath this truck and the shells were coming over. And uh, one come over, wham! I was hit. I did like this. Of course, I said, I'm, I'm hit. The officers looked down there. I did like this. I was expected to see blood. It was grease off the bottom of the truck. <laughs> uh, <wow. laughs> we could laugh. That's my first laugh, see. Well, what's it like? I mean, here I, I'm a person that's never been in, in battle, never been in war. What's it like to be in an artillery barrage? I mean, I, it's got to be terrifying, I would think. Well, the first place is you want to be down. Now, any, any barrage that we got into later on, we were generally dug in. But, like the time when we were in, in, uh, in Brest, we got bombed at night. And I got shaken and I couldn't shut it off. And I thought, I, the dirt's going to fall in on me. I was shaking so hard. Well, we had a church service the next Sunday, and the, the uh, chaplain asked, and you boys have troubles getting the shakes the other night? I felt better after that. He did, too. Hmm. In a way, there were so many times that uh, all it would have taken is a piece of shrapnel or a bullet or... Most anything that I would either have been buried over there or I'd have been wounded. Yeah, right. But I went the whole time with them. And I, after I got home, I thought, well, they were praying for me. And these were blessings. Each time that that happened, it was another blessing. And there were a dozen of them. Yeah. The bless the blessing when the when I woke got up in the morning I went to put my boots on. There weren't any eyelets left in the boots. They were all blown out. My shoulder half was full of holes. The, 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 they called them the daisy cutters, the bomb that dropped mm -hmm. it, then mowed the grass. Punctured gas tanks, flattened tires, all kinds of stuff. But the, the only time it got got hit that time was under under a tree, and the shrapnel got his feet. Anyway, that was about. I don't know where my numbers are. But that was one of the times I got by. And oh, the second day, we were walking down to the first division, and they said, "Get out of there!" And the the bullets went right over her head. I guess it, I could hurt him. So then, uh, and I thought later on, that gum, in fact, had a scope, I'd have found that guy and I'd, I'd nailed him. You know, he, uh, that took care of the beach and, and, uh, we, we went, that, that winter was fairly decent. Oh, okay. Except for the day that I, Supposed to stand guard. There was a, it was like a moat and a headquarters building, and then, you know, they had horses and cows and everything, had a room for them. Well, they were gone, but we'd taken over this, this uh, farm, I suppose you'd call it, for headquarters. And, uh, and I was standing guard on this archway with an infantry guy, infantry guy. And I swear they must have could see us. Figured that was headquarters. Anyway, here comes Shell. Oh, jeez. Landed out there. Of course, we hit the dirt. Done the Shell. We hit the dirt again. One of us said, I ain't going to stay out here, get killed. So we went down the stairway and into a square room. 
The next shell took the stairway down behind us. We couldn't get out. Oh, man. We were AWOL. We left our post without being, being relieved. But the, the fire control was in the next room. Of course, there was a big laugh then. Ah, you guys are going to, you're in trouble. Left your post. <laughs> yeah, we're alive. <laughs> they, they said later on that they weren't shooting at us. They were shooting at that church that was mined all the way around. They figured we'd been in the ch church. But I swear, the guy that was shooting those shells was looking right at us. And they figured if they're, gonna, if they're guarding that thing, that's where the headquarters. Boy, it was, too. The fire direction center. Hmm. So that was uh, probably about number 10 blessing that I got. And uh, 